getting down to the wire, we figure we've got like three, four weeks. You know, it's kind of one of those things you got to be prepared for it. And uh, so we're all hands on deck currently. Uh, we got our uh, bad boy howitzer back from our friends down at Nemesis Industry. Built us this sweet expedition rack that we can put our rooftop tent on. We're getting in some uh, lighting because who knows what time we're going to get off the trail. It could be dark out. We got to set up camp in the dark. It's always nice seeing. Getting our rock lighting all set up. We made a few tweaks to the suspension. List of things we still have to do. Uh, our friends at Pure Performance are sending over some of their adjustable rear links. That's going to help us point that pinion at that T case, get us a little better driveline angle. We've still got to get the RCVs in the front, get the bumper lights wired, get it wrapped, get the uh, engine modifications done that we want to get done to make sure that all this emission stuff is going to work properly, get some parts powder coated, um, get the uh, wiring in the uh, engine compartment finished up. We got a we got enough connections at the batteries now that, well, we've got to figure out what we're going to do with all of them. So I'm thinking we're going to switch over to some different batteries, give us some different terminals to mount from, and then uh, go from there. Lots of positives, lots of negatives, lots of good stuff. Make it all lined out perfect so that we can uh, hopefully get this thing out on the trail in the next week or so and give her the beans, see how the uh, suspension modifications work out, how the power modifications work out, and. Uh, Give her a full-blown test run. Maybe even go camping for a night. Woo, Howie for the win. Oh yeah, we still gotta get the roll cage done. Back when I thought we were ahead of schedule. Nope, running out of time. Typical UA. So here's what we got. We got a uh, howitzer. Uh, yeah, we're still working on it. It's Friday. We leave on Monday. We're uh, on to interior. Majority of the exterior is done. We've got lighting all wired in. We've got the battery terminals all squared away so we can run wires to the back for the uh, rear mounted winch. We've got the dash and everything all torn apart so we can route the wires we need for our front mount camera so we know what the heck's going on in front of this big beast. Um, and then we'll start buttoning everything up there. Uh, peripheral things that we have uh, for wiring still are our, our rugged radio, our transmission. We need to hook up a, a pressure box so we can ramp up line pressures and our uh, front and rear lockers off of uh, rocker switches. I kind of like the feel of rocker switches for lockers. <laughs> Something about it makes me feel like it's engaging better. Um, it's supposed to be 121 degrees in Phoenix when we get there. In which case, I'm guessing we need to start hydrating. Last year there were some issues. A few of the people on the Ultimate Adventure couldn't, couldn't carry on because they got too dehydrated. No names, Cameron. And uh, yeah, it's going to be just as challenging. We're going to have a good old time though. 
big big boy here, Howie's gonna end up driving the whole way down, hopefully uh, with no problems. <laughs> Untested, you know, a thousand or so miles before we even start UA. From what I hear, it's gonna be the longest UA to date, and uh, for whatever that means, they could be messing with my head, or it could actually happen, which, which means I'm thinking it'll be somewhere between 13 and 1800 miles. But we're getting her all done. Handle, lighting, sleeping, emissions, spare tire, steering wheel. We actually knew for this year, a lot of people aren't aware of this feature, but we've got a remote mount steering feature. What this does is it lets us get out of the vehicle when we get to a tough obstacle. And with these, we control throttle and brake and we could just remote control drive it right on up the obstacle. It's a pretty cool feature, pops right off. And uh, yeah, other than that, we got stuff to do. You're killing time, let's go. It's uh, morning of our first trail day here, Ultimate Adventure 2017. Everybody's scrambling around getting ready. We've got a six o'clock driver's meeting. So we're getting started early here. Hopefully we beat the heat a bit. Um, got all the readers all uh, showed up. A couple guys showed up late last night and uh, should be a fun one. It's probably gonna have a ding somewhere from a, somebody's door, oh, some it. other mall related damage. I mean, you're number one, actually. Uh, maybe trail damage, but it doesn't seem likely. Cooper's a really good driver, man. Cooper! on the bumpers kind of where we'd expected the rest of the body is uh, fine truck worked awesome I'm happy with it there is a bit of a learning curve on breakovers and getting the right angles but by the end of the week I think we'll have it licked Woo!
it's over here. Final obstacle, final day. The shoot's here in Sand Hollow, and uh, yeah, we did good. I'm, I'm super happy with it. Can't wait to get it out and do more trails with some uh, good friends, new and old. Booyah!